Hi, my name is Alex Kirsch with Gus and Show Associates. Uh, I just want to talk to you about seller concessions and lender seller credit or lender credits. So when you're buying a house, a lot of people think they just have to come up with the down payment money. Let's use this example of a two hundred thousand dollar purchase. So if you're doing FHA, you want three and a half percent down. You say you have the seven thousand dollars, you're good to go. Well, no, there's probably an additional seven thousand dollars in closing cost, and if you don't have it, there's a way around it. So what we can do is we can ask for seller concessions. So we have the seller give you the $7,000 for closing costs. Now all you have to do is worry about the $7,000 for the down payment. So those are how seller concessions are used. Now sometimes it's hard to get that number right. Let's say we ask for $8,000 in seller credits and it comes in only at $7,000. You can't apply that additional $1,000 towards your down payment. Sellers cannot credit borrowers any down payment. So what happened is what they do is a principal reduction on your loan or we renegotiate the contract. Um, so getting those seller credits right, it's, it's very difficult to do. We try to get it close. Um, sometimes you can't get enough credit. So here are the rules on seller credits. Uh, conventional, if you do a conventional purchase, you can only ask for a maximum of 3%. So a $100,000 loan, you can only ask for $3,000 because that's the rule in conventional and the, credit, and the closing cost might be seven. And in that case, I want to talk to you about lender credits. Now, the lender can give you credits to make up that difference. Now, it'll be very difficult to get all extra $4,000 credit to you with lender credits because what we have to do is we have to raise the rate. And there's usually not that much room to credit that much. But what the lender will do will give you a higher rate and they'll give you a lender credit to make up some of the difference. So, seller concessions, maximum for conventional is 3%. FHA is 6%. VA is 4%. Jumbo is 2%. So. Conventional three, FHA six, VA four percent, jumbo two percent. So if you can't get there with the seller concessions, then you can do it with lender credits also. Um, lender credits, we can uh, we can only credit you by giving you a higher rate. There's, it's, we can't credit you any of our commission because there's regulations. Um, loan officers have to make exactly the same amount on every single loan. So we can't just give you our commission to credit you. We, we have to do it by raising the rate and giving you a credit. So it's, there's a rate that what's called par that, that, that pays us our commission and anything higher than that rate has a credit. Anything lower than that rate has a discount point. So if you want to buy your rate down, you have to buy the discount point. If you want to lend credit, you take a higher rate, we give you a closing cost credit. And then there's that one rate that pays us exactly what we're supposed to be making. And that's the rate we have to sell you and we can't even give our own mothers a better rate than you. So there's just a rate we have to sell, and if we go lower than that on the rate, you pay for it, higher, you get a credit. And that's kind of how lender credits work. So I hope you like this video and share it, and if you have any questions, please leave the questions below and we'll get back to you, thanks.